Passion is being committed to something. I'm committed to keeping this dream alive, to keeping these games running. I'm committed to sharing this experience with others. When I first get a game broken or working, I like to shop it out, do any maintenance that needs to be done to it. That can average about one to four hours of time to get it up to condition that I feel is worthy of being in my arcade. My name is Jeremy Wagner. I live in Warrington, Missouri. And this is my basement arcade, which I've called the Vintage Vault Arcade. There is 1,100 square foot of floor space. Featuring 43 games, I feel enormously thankful when I'm in this room. Sometimes I'll just walk around the room and uh, walk up to a particular game and just remember the memory of how I picked up that game and can't believe I actually have it. I feel blessed. My favorite memory of this space is the first time I had a group of day camp kids come out here. My wife uh, works at a summer day camp and one of the events was rained out and she said, you know, do you think they could come over to the arcade? The moment they went through the door, they really didn't know what they were walking into. And to see their, their faces just light up and, and then 10 minutes later, they're running around and screaming and having a good old time. And, and that was my favorite memory, to be honest with you. I, I love hosting, having groups over to enjoy this arcade. I mean, that's that was part of my whole dream or process was to build a place that people could come to. I'll have church groups over. I throw in birthday parties, New Year's Eve parties, graduation parties. Groups of people that ask, some I know, some I don't. I let them in this space free of charge. People ask me, what do I charge? I don't charge anything. The arcade games that people are most excited to see are Cubert, Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Fix-It Felix, and Donkey Kong. I have pretty much got my collection to where I want it. There's probably five or so arcade games I'd really like to get. As an arcade collector, your options of finding these games are limited to just a handful of avenues. Half the fun is the hunt. There's eBay, Craigslist, online communities and arcade auctions. There's really not too many other places you can go to get these things. My favorite is definitely Star Wars. I was a Star Wars kid. I actually sold two games to uh, purchase my Star Wars and traveled three states to get it. What I like about that game is that it was one of the first ones that have digitized speech from the actual movie. It's one of the handful of games that use color vector monitor, and so it's very unique. It also has a, a yoke flight stick, which you can't find on any other game. I probably come down in the space maybe three times a week. Sometimes if I'm having a bad day, I just like to come down here and walk around and look at the games. To me, Sanctuary is a place where I can go and be at peace. This basement arcade is a way of meeting people. It's a way of entertaining friends and family. It's a way of reliving my childhood memories. My name is Jeremy Wagner, and this is my sanctuary. <laughs>